Hey guys, welcome back to another week of free and cheap groceries. In this week's haul, I saved over 71%. It always starts with price matching using my favorite app, Rebe, and I always leave the link below so you can download it as well. And then I take the sale prices that I've found, combine them up with coupons and cashback rebate apps. So if you'd like to see exactly how I did this haul, keep watching. Starting with the Elmer Accents, these worked out to be only 38 cents a can. They're on sale at Metro for 88 cents each, and then I had a coupon that was save $1 when you buy two. Sorry I didn't show it, but it was found right on the can display a couple weeks ago. The Villaggio bread, it's the Artisano bread. This worked out to be only $1.29. It started off on sale at uh, Food Basics for $2.29, and then I redeemed $1 cash back from the app Checkout 51. The Sara Lee mini brownies here were free, both boxes. Now, they did start off at Giant Tiger for $1.88, and then one of them had a PLE coupon, but I also had already printed $1 coupons from the website gocoupons.ca. Now, unfortunately, since I've started making this video, I don't know why, but the $1 cashback rebate has been removed from the app Zweet. The Pringles were an awesome price at 55 cents each. Now, I did do half of my shopping Thursday and the rest this morning, Friday, because it's a PD day, I didn't want to have to do it all. <laughs> um, so you won't be able to get the exact sale I price matched ended yesterday for $1.67 at the Real Canadian Superstore, but you can do something similar. So find a good ad to price match and then take it to a location that accepts Coupon. I did Fresh Coat and so I saved $2 for every three cans of Pringles. I was able to get or clip that coupon three times. And then I redeemed $2 cash back for every four Pringles on the app Checkout 51. The crumpets here were only $1, an unadvertised sale at Fresh Co. And the Triscuits worked out to be $1.38 per box. They're on sale at Food Basics for $1.88. And then I redeemed $1 cash back on the app Checkout 51. The Smart Food popcorn was only $0.99 cents per bag. It's on sale this week at Food Basics for $1.99. And then I printed off these $1 off coupons from the website tastyrewards.ca. The apples were a great price at $0.67 cents per pound. This is a sale at Food Basics I price matched and no coupon required. The grapes, since they were purchased yesterday as well, it was a Real Canadian Superstore ad that I price matched at $1.48. So hopefully there is something similar you can do moving forward. And the bananas, again, I grabbed those at 56 cents a pound just because it's a great price overall. The Quaker cereals, the Harvest Crunch and Captain Crunch were all 97 cents per box. They're on sale this week at the uh, No Frills for $1.97. And then I printed off $1 off coupons from tastyrewards.ca. The Nutri-Grain bars worked out to be only $1 per box. They're on sale at Freshco for $2, and they all had 50 cent PLE coupons right on them. And then I redeemed $1 cash back on Checkout 51 for the pair. The berries were only $1 at Freshco, an unadvertised sale, and no coupon required. And the Clementines, $3.77 for the five pound box. This is a sale I price matched from the Real Canadian Superstore. So again, I do apologize for showing some ads that expired yesterday. I don't normally do that. It was just um, because of the PD day, things were a little different around here. But overall, if I had paid all the regular prices of these items, I would have spent $97.56. By using price matching and sales, I dropped that number to $53.07. I did use $16 worth of coupons, meaning I spent $37.07 out of pocket, and I will still receive $9 back in cashback rebates, meaning the total amount spent on this haul was $28.07, so I saved $69.49 or 71%. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like these savings tips and seeing how you can easily 
use a price matching app like Rebe, coupons, you know, printing them or getting tear pad coupons, all these different things combined with some of my favorite apps, then please make sure you also check out my other playlists where I tell you how to use those apps and where I find my coupons and all sorts of other little tips and tricks. So uh, again, feel free to share and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.